Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Nick Pompain with Realty Growth Incorporated in Rochester, Minnesota, bringing you a new segment of uh, the Realty Growth Report, which will focus on transactions that have occurred uh, the previous month in the Rochester and surrounding area. So with this, there's going to become two parts. The first part is going to be more a broad range, uh, focus on uh, non-realty growth transactions. So that'll be the first part. The second part will be focused on more so the transactions that occurred within the realty growth, off growth office, uh, because we always get people asking, hey, what's going on at realty growth? What are you all been working on? So anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So as I said, the first section is regarding transactions that have occurred outside of the realty growth office. Now, just to let everybody know, this isn't going to be every single transaction that has taken place in the Rochester and surrounding market uh, because we only have access to a certain amount of information, but this will give you a general idea of what's going on. So according to the information that we have, there are eight total commercial sales transactions that took place in the month of May, and the average sale price came out to about $2.9 million. Now, within that, there was a very large outlier, which skewed the numbers a little bit. And so if you take that out, the average sale price for commercial real estate in the month of May for the transactions that closed was $1.39 million. Now, this includes every single commercial asset, so from land to apartments to retail. So any commercial asset that's sold in the month of May that we are able to find and give information on, uh, that is included in that number. In regards to leases, now that's a little bit harder because we don't necessarily see uh, what lease rates um, get, uh, what leases and what lease rates are for the final transaction. But what we could tell is that there were seven inked uh, lease transactions that occurred in the month of May with once again, the information that we received. And the asking average price per square foot was $16.50 per square foot, triple net. Now, does that mean that that's what they ended up at? No, but uh, we do know from the information that we gathered that at least the asking rate was $16.50 a square foot, triple net, and that there are seven ink deals. Once again, all these transactions are outside of uh, the Realty Growth office. So now, what's been going on at Realty Growth in the month of May? We had a really busy month of May, uh, which is really great. Um, something that was really interesting was that actually six of the 13 transactions that we closed in May were residential. Now, there were some single family homes, there were a couple duplexes. Um, some of them were single family homes that were being rented, so uh, owner uh, investment uh, type of property. Um, so that was a really interesting thing because typically we, we do commercial transactions, but we do have uh, um, people uh, that we work with that have single family homes that they use as investments. Um, but it just also tells you what's going on in the market. There's a lot of residential that's selling, uh, just like much of the United States across the country, residential is a really hot uh, asset class right now for various reasons. Uh, regarding leasing deals, we did five leasing deals that we got signed in the month of May. So all in all, about 18 transactions that we did uh, in the month of May, which is really, really great for us. And we're really excited about it because it's been a really busy quarter so far. So that's the update that I have for the month of May. Uh, I hope that people find this interesting and actually like this because I plan on doing, every, doing this every month uh, for the previous month. Uh, any questions, please reach out to any of us at Realty Growth Incorporated, 507-289-8000. Thanks, everybody.